Good morning, Facebook. How are you? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day in California. That's right. It's Friday. And it's a beautiful day in California. Happy Friday. Yeah. Do you I was reading it for you. Happy Friday. That's right. So today, or this week, we've been talking about thinking. We've been talking about reflecting. We've been talking about being a creative thinker. But you probably wonder who we are. Uh, I That's right. So this is Serena Vesegi, and I'm Jamila Dillon. Serena is the speaker who cannot speak and the writer who cannot write. And while well, I'm Jamila, his assistant. My That's right. So in his job, what he really wants to do, what motivates him in the morning is empowering you to live your most amazing life. That's right. On Fridays, we talk about gratitude. And why? That's right. This Friday, today, we are talking about why it is important to practice gratitude. Um, I can I can give you I can give you a picture of what I wish in our home. You can give me a picture of my life. In her right, so Rena said, look, I could paint a picture of my life that is just completely horrible. And it would be one of it would be one of the And that picture would be one hundred percent accurate. Exactly. But just because Serena could do that doesn't mean it's something he should do because that doesn't mean it's healthy. It doesn't mean it's empowering. Can you say that for me one more time, please, Serena? Your actions. And your thoughts. And your thoughts. Lead to the Lead to. The life, yeah. Lead to the life that you have. Yes. So, so even though you know you being a all of the ritual of in the in the room move forward. Right. So even though you could paint this horrible picture, and even though that horrible picture might even be accurate, that doesn't mean it's something you should do. It doesn't mean it's gonna move you forward. Right, and one way to deal with this is to be grateful. To be grateful for what you have. No, no, I am saying I am saying everything, everything. Alright, so this is what you did before your kids go to bed. I I do not I can't I can't do the bedroom uh how did that become my own day? Okay, so before the kids go to bed, so it has this really sweet thing that he does. He turns on a cartoon and then he has the kids jump all over daddy. Really cute and sweet. No matter what's going on in his life, that's yeah. his time. You grateful. You grateful. grateful. And for this, he is grateful. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I learned this for. I learned this for. But so this is something that. Isn't necessarily original to Serena. This is something that he's learned over the years. He's learned this growing up.
Right. So Serena's dad was grateful for his amazing life. And he verbalized it. He verbalized it. He verbalized it every day. And he verbalized it every day. And then that empowered me to live my amazing life. And that has empowered Serena to live out his amazing life. Uh -huh. Oh, that was that, no, was that, no, was that, no, that, um, was that, no, I was not to go to gratitude. And without those lessons, Serena, well, he couldn't talk about gratitude. <laughs> so no matter how busy, no matter how busy you are. So thus, no matter how busy you are. Even that, that is, she never, okay, what are you grateful for? You need to take the time to think about what you're grateful for. No, no, no. Look, if you want an amazing life. Now yeah. look, if you want an amazing life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exploit. You have to exploit. You have to exploit the thing that you have. You have to exploit your strength. You have to exploit your strength. And minimize your weaknesses. And minimize your weaknesses. Um, no, 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 I'm grateful for his team. I'm grateful for his team. Right, he's grateful for his studio. I'm grateful for my family who always supported me. And never, and never. Right, he's grateful for his parents who always supported his endeavors. And if I did not. In the world, I think they are never able to do it. Do it. That's right. And if Serena didn't have those things, he wouldn't be able to do what he does. Uh, I I want to be more more creative, creative, creativity. He's grateful for his creativity. No, 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 Right, some of that's developed, some of it's natural and raw yeah. talent, regardless, it's grateful for it. Right, the bottom line is gratitude is a big part of success. And you know, you know, you know, it, it is, uh, we, we, we need to get challenged. And when you're challenged, it becomes even more powerful. It becomes even more powerful. Yeah, so, so, it gets a gamble. It gets a gamble. So, for example, let's say you're late to a meeting. Yeah, probably if you're in LA, you're stuck in traffic. Maybe the 405? Yeah. 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 Right. Or maybe you're late for a different reason. Maybe your plane was delayed. <laughs> But, 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 if, if you can do it, if you can do it, how would you do it in the world? A car. Right, if you just sit back and think, you know what, I'm just grateful to have a car, because how, how many people in this world even have a car? Most people don't. Most people don't. And, you know, you know, you know, you know, if you think about it, if you think about it, they would have been 150 years ago. Right, even like 150 years ago, there were no planes. 
At least not passenger planes that you can just go to an airport and fly on. Right. Right. If you think about just the technology that goes into creating a plane, you should be grateful just the fact that you can get on a plane, it flies in the air, and it lands, and you made it the whole way. Okay. Right? Okay. Can you give me one more Okay. Give another example. Go. Oh. I would do that. So last week, so when I was in Cancun, I went to more, I went to do more, do more, very close to the hotel. So there was a mall like across the street from his hotel. And it is what? What? Our so our first had a seven to get into it. And so every store you had to step to get into the store. So you can imagine the problem that caused Serena. In fact, she couldn't get into the stores. So your wife had to go shopping without you? Oh, so his wife had to go shopping. Exactly, that's the last thing on your mind because we have the ADA laws, so you can get anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not Right, so when you're here, you don't have to think about that. You don't have to think about where you can go because of the ADA loss. You know, so that. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. And for that, Serena is grateful. Yeah. Serena, you know what you're making me think of? So of course we know it's grateful to be, it's important to be grateful. And we know that that's important for our attitude and for our empowering us to success. But for those people who are having a hard time being grateful, you're making me think of something that we've been talking a lot about in my house recently, which is the importance of changing your metric. So if you can't find something to be grateful for. Maybe you need to change your metric so you can find something to be grateful for. So if you're mad because you don't have the most beautiful car, maybe you should find a way just to be thankful for the fact that you do have a car, like you said earlier. Or if you're mad because your plane is late, change your metric. Your metric might be, hey, I should be grateful just for the fact that I can be on a plane. Does that make, am I making any sense here? Yeah, I need, I need you both. You think you need both? You need both. You got, if, if you want more like, you make, I'm going to be, you tell me, I'm going to be, where, where, higher, If you want more life, your metric needs to be higher. But I'm going to say, I just, I just need to But at the same time, you need to be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. That you can do. Yeah. I like that. They're not, they're not, they're not routine. It's, it's, not one or the other. it's not one or the other, it's both. Yeah. For example. Oh. 
Obviously, I would do more with his body. Obviously, so when I was just, he could do more with his body. I would, I would do more with his marriage. You wish? I did have a speech impediment. Yeah, he wishes he didn't have a speech impediment. But I'm going to put it back in. Yeah, my speech impediment is not that bad. But he's grateful for the fact that the speech impediment really isn't that bad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. And he has a hundred of those examples. So, what my mother is not gradually and of wishing you were saying, I'm not missing, I'm not making increases. So, you're saying gratitude and working hard and wanting something and having drive. They aren't exclusive of one another. They don't repel one another. They actually work together. Uh, or they can work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know that I can't comedy. I know that I can't live with comedy, but they work together. They work together. So Renna said, I know that sounds a little complicated, but they do. They work together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We can, we can, but sometimes we can, 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 we Big part in enjoying life. I will see you Monday and go to Big Dreams 101.com. I will see you Monday and go to BigDreams101.com. Thank you and enjoy your weekend.